Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPad where apps are not compatible when you try to download it and it gives you that error message or it's not compatible. You want to follow these tips in order to get the app to download. So let's get started. So the first thing you can do is go into the App Store. Of course, if you're searching for an app, go ahead and search for that app. Now, when you search for any apps, there's two types of apps. There's apps made for iPad and iPhone. So the list you see right now by default shows you everything that's available for your iPad. But we can change this filter up here and then where it says support only, we can change it to iPhone as well. And that will give you a bigger list. So if it's an app that you're looking for that says not compatible, you can download the iPhone app on the iPad itself to give you more compatibility. So go ahead and search for the app and use that filter option so that you can get the app you want. Now, another thing you can do is that if you're not getting it's compatible, it's because the software is either a older software on your iPad. You can see if there's a software update available for your iPad by going into your settings and going to general software update. And sometimes there might be an update, minor update that's available. Even if it's not on the latest one, you want to download and install that update. Give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes. Make sure you connect it to the internet. And once you download and update it, go ahead and retry to download the app that was not compatible. Now, after doing those, if it's still not working, the next trick you want to do is going to require that you have another Apple device that can download the app that you want to download on your iPad. Usually, I would say most people will take an iPhone, right? What are you going to do with the iPhone that you can download the app? Make sure they're using both the same account. So you want to make sure the account you're using here, this Apple ID that you have, also make sure it's uh, the same Apple ID there. So what you're going to do is go to your iPhone and whatever app that's not compatible on your iPad, you're going to go to the App Store here and you're going to download it on this phone. So once you download whatever app you want, right, you want to go ahead and download, install that app on this iPhone. Now you will take your iPad, right? Make sure again, signed into the same Apple ID that was signed into your iPhone. And the way this works is you go to the App Store, and this time in the App Store, without searching up that app, you're going to click on your profile and click on where it says purchased. So what happens is it leaves a history of apps that you downloaded on the iPhone using that same account that's going to be listed here. And this time, Whatever app you want to download, all you're going to do is see it over here and click on that cloud with the arrow pointing down and it will install on this iPad. Even if it's an older version, you'll be able to download it this time on your iPad. And then once you're done downloading it, you can sign out of this Apple ID. You don't need it any longer. It's just to use that Apple ID to download it and then you can have a different Apple ID on this account or you don't even need Apple ID if you want to sign out of it completely. You can click on it and then click on sign out here. So to try that as well, so these three steps should help you be able to fix and download the app that you want to install that's not compatible in your iPad. And I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.